क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग की डिफरेंट एप्लीकेशन इन बायोफॉर्मेटिक्स डोमेन इस मॉड्यूल में हम क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग की एप्लीकेशन देखेंगे फॉर वन स्पेसिफिक टास्क मल्टीपल सीक्वेंस अलाइनमेंट एज यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट मल्टीपल सीक्वेंस अलाइनमेंट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टास्क वेन वी हैव सर्टन और सेवरल लेवल्स ऑफ सीक्वेंसिस एंड वी वॉन्ट टू अलाइन दैम टू फाइंड आउट सिमिलरिटीज एंड डिसिमिलरिटीज नो वट हैपन्स इज दैट एज यू नो दिस मल्टीपल सीक्वेंस अलाइनमेंट has different algorithms available and these algorithms have been developed or implemented in several software applications lekin ye jo software applications hain ya algorithms hain inki limits hain for example what happens at the moment there is no software application available which works for more than 50000 sequences at current times ab ye kyun limits hain because as the number of sequences grow computation power reduces for example we have large number or large amount of dna rna protein sequences they are not just 50000 there are more than these numbers so once these numbers are very large our multiple sequence alignments algorithms become decreasing or they uh, uh, start breaking down so what happens what is the need then we need high quality multiple sequence alignment algorithms for example here i have given an example of cluster omega which is a very famous software for multiple sequence alignment problems what it can do it can take 190000 sequences and these sequences it it will take several hours on some current uh, uh, very good uh, high computing machine to align those sequences okay about these cluster omega software but what are the other softwares there was a study in which uh, the authors took 18 different multiple sequence alignment algorithms and their motivation motive or their goal was to assign or align 50000 genome sequences what was the result that is very very strange for example t coffee ps align prank fsa and mammals which are other multiple sequence alignment softwares they were able to align only 100 sequences when the number of sequences was greater than 100 they broke down then uh, propcons muscle cluster w and so on they were able to align only 1000 sequences so again it was a very short number cluster omega k align and partry they were able to identify or align roughly 50000 sequences after 50000 sequences either their working was very very low or they broke down so how can we make some softwares which can work for these large number of sequences answer is high performance computing so what we conclude from all this discussion is that there is progressive decrease in the computational power as the number of sequences increase now the problem is we want to solve this progressive decrease type things but for that thing we should have a knowledge what are the reasons of this downfall is just the increasing the number of sequences the reason or are there other uh, reasons as well the major reason is that multiple sequence alignment techniques are mostly heuristic based so if they are heuristic based there is the chance of errors and noise in calculations so if there is uh, error or noise in the start of the sequence alignment then this noise or error will be propagated in the uh, next uh, alignment phases so what happens is with the passage of time this noise or error becomes impossible to capture or to deal with then we have computational complexity as the number of uh, uh, sequences increase computational complexity also increases no systematic benchmarks benchmarks basically they are techniques which are used to identify or evaluate our systems that okay which point up to which point our algorithm worked good then from which place it started decreasing so there are no systematic benchmarks available for our sequence alignment problems so can we make a competitor with cluster omega as we said that cluster omega is able to align 190000 sequences can we make a competitor for cluster omega 
so one result is or the answer is faster but faster which is developed for a cloud domain as we know we have uh, already seen faster and its different examples and applications but here what we say that a version of faster which is developed for cloud based applications so what happens is that we have diff at different times and we have different number of sequences for our msa algorithm so what we do on our cloud computing device if we assign some specific numbers to a some specific node so as you know that a cloud computing device or cloud computer architecture consists of several nodes so instead of uh, doing all the sequence alignment on one specific node what we do we divide nodes on dif different sequences for example we put our first 10000 sequences on node 1 then 10000 in node 2 and so on then what happens those nodes are able to carry out sequence alignment for individual sequences at their specific location once th those are sorted out their result is combined with the node second one and the node second one with third one so what will happen we have a hadoop that the results from different nodes are combined at one place and then they are sorted out so this gives us theory of parallelization parallelization means at the same time we are performing different actions at different nodes but those are in parallel that for 1 to 10000 node 1 then uh, from the next phase from to uh, 10000 1 to 20000 node 2 so they are being performed in parallel phases so our computation will be very fast and will be very good nature wise so idea is that we have converted our problem into sub problems and these are very small as compared to the bigger problem then we have distributed file system that store data on node as we already said that we have nodes on those nodes we have put our data that would be in the form of distributed file systems and then distributed processing our large data sets across multiple nodes finally what we need we need some fault tolerant mechanisms and then we should be having some sharing mechanism that if some faults occur because we have divided data into different nodes so there are chances that if some fault occur at one node it will have effects on the other nodes also so we should have some fault tolerant mechanism and then how this information will be shared across different nodes 